tonight. You're telling me. Winder flipped me over out there on that interstate. Thought I was gonna be eating a little pavement for sure. What's the matter, Dennis? Got more on your mind than the storm? Well, I guess that massacre over in Elko has got us all a little bit spooked. What massacre? Y'all haven't been playing your radio? Mm-hmm. No. Some motel so damn shot full of holes, look like a war is going on. Four people dead, the place was torched, even the cars. <sighs> Found two people in the parking lot. One other one holed up in the bathroom. One even tried to blockade the door and hide under the bed. Didn't seem to do much good, though. The Nevada State Highway Patrol, they think it's a <clears throat> gang or something. Crazed on drugs, maybe. Heading this way? I don't know. Which way would you go? Thank you. Bad night to be on the road. Got gale force winds out there. You folks plan on traveling far? We're from Denver. Thought we could pick up I-70 and drive on through tonight. Well, I wouldn't recommend it. The way it's blowing out there, y'all been better off to stop at that motel back to the state line. That's what she said. You folks want some coffee? Well, I wouldn't push your luck. I'll tell you what, y'all have your suppers and I'll escort you back there. How about it? Well, that'd be great. Thanks a lot, officer. Can I get a cheeseburger and some fries? ourselves a live one here, Bobby boy. Cup of real hot, real strong coffee. Sure. Hey. Driving a little fast in the weather, aren't you? Yeah, I was. Sorry. Yeah, well, that kind of hurry gets you killed. Right. Sorry. Can I get another one of those? You want to look at a menu or something? Uh uh. Dennis, leave him alone. He's just tired. Something to eat? No, thanks. You got any cold beer? Mm. Sorry. No liquor license. Too bad. Cold beer tastes great right now. Oh, well, I just will. Beer would just make me sleepy anyway. My specials tonight is, um, breaded pork chops and apple sauce. Something wrong. Hmm. More coffee? Yeah, thanks. I think one more to do it. You got a script for those pills you just took? Sure do, Mr. Trooper. Hey, how about a bowl of beef stew or something? You look like you could use a meal. No, thanks. Sooner I get back on the road, the better. Back on the road? 
That's right. I don't think so. I wouldn't like the way you drove in here if it was bone dry and daylight outside. I'm getting ready to escort these nice folks over here to a motel room. I suggest you spend the night there, too. No, sir. No, I'll be spending the night behind the wheel. You're in such a big hurry, you must be running from something. I'm not running from anything, Mr. Trooper. I just like to keep moving. Night crawlers. What was that? Night crawlers? That's what it said in the lighter. I was in, um, everybody in my unit got one. All right, you a vet? Yeah, I'm a vet. I just seem not talking about it. Where were you in? Infantry? Hey, man, you never even heard me, did you? Heard what? I don't want to talk about the war. Why not? Dennis, why don't you just leave him alone? Why don't you want to talk about the war? Because I'm ashamed. For what? You got a dishonorable discharge or something? Nope. Then what branch were you in? I was in a special unit deployed early in the war to recon Charlie's position in questionable village. Did a lot of crawling through jungles and rice paddies in the dark. Night crawlers. Why don't you want to talk about that? You should be proud of that, not ashamed. Man, I wish I could have gone. I uh, drew a real high number, things were winding down then, but I bet you laid some of them Viet Cong out, didn't you? Man, I was behind you guys 100%. I wanted you to stay in there and fight it out. You could have won that war. Yeah, I should have stayed. I ought to be there right now, buried in the mud of a rice paddy with the other eight guys in my patrol. We lost them all. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Yeah, well, I'll be on my way. What do I owe you? The coffee's 50 cents. Oh, 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 but wait, but wait a minute. I meant what I said about that motel. Look, what can I do for you, Mr. Trooper? Huh? You that disappointed you didn't get over there? It's got nothing to do with it. I mean, you it. haven't heard enough about it. You want to know, is that it? I know what it was like over there. I had buddies who were over there. I came home walking on the bodies of my friends. Now, you think you know what that's like? War's over, Mr. Price. No need to bring it back. Bring it back? It never went away. Not for me. You think it's lousy outside tonight? Try this in mud up to your knees, and it's dark like the inside of your pants pocket. That last time, when everything went up, Shots being fired all around us. One of the crawlers got off a flare. Oh, man, it was beautiful. We walked right into hell. We had Kong up one side of us and down the other. One guy screamed, Charlie's in the light. The wind just started laying down fire, trying to punch a hole through. But they were everywhere. The guys were screaming as they got hit. Except the guys who got it in the mouth, and they just made wet sounds and went down into the mud. I got my first one in the thigh. And the next one went through my hand. Right through the back and out the palm. I dropped my rifle, and when I reached down for it, my hand went into something soft and sticky. You don't have to go through all Oh, yeah, man, I know! But now I want to. Guys were fighting and screaming, dying all around me. I could, I could feel the bullets tugging at the cloth of my uniform as they went through. So you know what I did, Mr. Trooper? I ran. I left my unit behind, see? Because the only way I could save my own life was by stepping on bodies, driving them down into the mud. And I'm not talking about the bodies of Kong, man. I'm talking about the bodies of my friends. I didn't just desert these guys. I buried them. I could, I could hear them choke as my, my foot stepped on their faces. I knew these guys like brothers. So maybe you ought to keep your opinion to yourself, Mr. Trooper. Because when I hear some guy like you say he understands, I want to kick your teeth down your throat. 
Nobody who wasn't there will ever understand. I'm sorry, folks, for disturbing your dinner. How much I owe you, Brent? A cup of coffee, 50 cents. I understand you all had a hard time over there. It doesn't give you any call to show disrespect for the law. I can't let you go out there high on pills. I don't want to be scraping you off the highway. So will you please come back to that motel with us and get a good night's sleep? You don't want me at no motel, Mr. Trooper. Not unless you want a lot of innocent people getting hurt. What? You heard me step aside. Was that about a motel? Last time I stopped in a motel, I fell asleep. And a little bit of this war I brought back came home. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, man. I've run across four of the vets so far who can do the same thing. We're all getting real good at it. Good at what? I don't think you have a T-bone steak on your menu, do you? No. Make mine medium rare. What is this, some kind of a trick? Ah, oh, come on, Mr. Trooper. You can still smell it, can't you? I know I can. You know, this one guy I ran into, he had this theory. He said he thought maybe we got sprayed with something. You know, something the Russians cooked up for the gong, something, something too dangerous to keep using. Ah, oh, whatever. The motel you fell asleep in. What happened there? I went to sleep, you know, and, and and I couldn't wake myself up. I mean, I was locked in, right? I was locked in this nightmare. And when I did wake up, they were coming through the door. I mean, they, they were tearing the door right off its hinges. And, and one of them had a rifle, and, and he had a rifle, and it was pointed at me, pointed right at my heart. And I could see him, you know, I could see him. I could see his eyes. I could see his muddy face. Come on, do it, come on. And I ran. Oh, God, I ran. Come on! Come on! Come on! And then I ran. God, I ran. I ran again. Mr. Trooper, you don't want me in your territory, believe me. Not with a body count I got in my head. You're coming with me, mister. I'm placing you under arrest. Ah! 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 Thanks for the coffee. Price, take care of yourself. Ah! Got him. Got the crazy sucker. Stay out of this, Rick. Hold it around like a jackhammer. Let's go. His eyes are still moving. Come on, mister, get up! Get up! Get up, mister! No! Press my gun! What the hell's that? Press my gun! Hold on, Coulter! Can't fly no chum in a storm like this! Come on! Mister, wake up! Wake up!
Okay. Price. Price said more. More what? Price said. He said there's one four. Four more vets would do the same thing. Here, take it, would you? 